All right, so apologies for me looking uh, looking mainly down at the screen, but um, I'll record this now so it'll come up on the board and you'll be able to have a look at it later on. All right, so what I gave you out this morning, you've got a, um, a paper that is a prelim paper that is the same format as what you're going to be answering on Wednesday week, okay? So the format of the paper, you're going to have section one, Section one is going to, the topic is going to be nature of religion and Aboriginal spiritualities. And it is worth 15 marks. That 15 marks is broken up into 10 multiple choice and one five mark response. That five mark response is the same type of task as what you did in the very first task of the year. So you may be given a stimulus and then a question and then you have to write the response. It could be just a simple question and then you write the response. It could be on either Aboriginal spiritualities or the nature of the dream. Okay, section one, you have no choice. You need to answer all 15 marks worth. So the 10 multiple choice questions, you don't get a choice in. The five mark response, you don't get a choice in. The reason I say you don't get a choice is because in section two and three, you do get a choice. So section two is on Christianity or Islam. It's worth 15 marks as well. However, there's no multiple choice in this section. It's simply broken up into um, any combination worth 15 marks divided into three. So it could be a two, a four, and a nine, three, six, six, two, five, eight, any combination that adds up to 15 marks. Usually, the very first question that you get is going to be a lower order key verb, a list, an outline. By the time you get into the second part of this section, the second question, there were six, four, five or six, for example, it's more likely that they're going to be a higher, a middle order key verb, sorry. So that word could potentially be um, an explain, it could be a lower middle order key verb like a describe, okay? By the time you get to the last part of this section, whether it's worth nine, six, seven or eight, it's going to be a higher order key verb. So it's going to test those students who are wanting to get into the top bin. Therefore, it would be things like evaluate, assess, discuss. Those type of key verbs which um, require you to make a judgment, okay? Um, in the playlist, there's a um, video in there about how to make a judgment easily, okay, how to, by taking the issue person thing out of the equation. All right, so this one I said you have a choice. It's worth 15 marks. Section three is worth 20 marks. So you have to be prudent as to what you choose to answer. Again, section three has the exact same options as section two. However, it's worth 20 marks. And it's one question. So it's an extended response worth 20 marks. We have to expect that the, high, the key verb in this is going to be explain or higher. So when we explain, we need to show cause and effect. It might ask for impact, so before and after. It might ask to discuss, so it's two sides of something. Or it might ask us to make a judgment, okay? So you need to think, what am I going to do? Because you are not allowed to do Christianity in section two and Christianity in section three. You have to do the opposite. Whatever you choose in section two, you do the opposite in section three. You can go in pre-prepared with, I'm going to be, I think I know Christianity the best, 
and it's worth the most marks. So I'm going to do Christianity for section three, regardless of what the paper, to, um, what the question is. The majority of people, however, go in with an open mind and they think it depends on the question on the day. Because if they ask me something about um, Christian ethical teachings, I, I hope they don't because I'm not that strong on it. And the essay could be completely about that. So they'll go in with an open mind, prepared to answer any question. Then on the day, they figure out, oh, actually, the Islamic essay is easier for me to answer than what the Christian essay is. So I'll do Islam for section three and Christianity for section two. Or vice versa, I'll do Islam for section two and Christianity for section three. It's a bit of a, um, uh, a, a type of thinking that you have to do. What, how is it best going to benefit me with my marks? So you go in there and think, yep, I think that I'm going to answer my essay first or figure out which essay I'm going to answer first and then I'll make, that'll make the decision for me in section two. Okay? I made a mistake there. You would never do your essay first. Okay, I'll tell you some bad examples of people who've done their essay first and they run way out of time. 20 out of 20 for the essay but stuff up the rest of the exam because they spend too much time on their essay. Okay, any questions about the actual exam? Okay, so let's have a look at... I might finish this that video here, so I'll stop and I'll start a new video going through the practice paper that you've got in front of you.